Welcome friends back to five agendas. Now um, we're going to do the thought paper that we published back in October 2019 on the 15th. Um, we've covered this one on the investigative judgment versus pre-advent judgment. So we're just coming back and we're going to do the thought paper on Admite in the Great Pyramid. Now hold on before you Hit that stop button. There's a genuine. Um, truth about the Great Pyramid. There's a counterfeit. I'm not interested in the counterfeit at all. Um, you're probably already aware of that because that's what um, my understanding was. You know, all the uh, the Illuminati, the all seeing eye, the pyramid, and you know, all of that was bad, bad, right? So, but then, um, something was shared with me about the Great Pyramid that was like, wow. Um, and so, why reject anything that uplifts Christ, proves Daniel 8 14, proves biblical uh, chronology and prophecy? and has nothing to do with the counterfeit. Still interested? Okay, so here it goes. Because like what we said right here in the preface, so over the last year and eight months, uh, which is now longer, we have shared the biblical account of the man in linens, and this all gets back to the man in linen and what he said and why all this is true. So this scriptural divine endorsement of the pivotal date of 554, this figure, okay, as the second divine chronology, which is 1290 years within the greater 2300 year chronology. And God provides these two divine chronologies, the 1290 and the 2300 years that both terminate in 1844, okay, and so these two divine chronologies prove beyond the shadow of any doubt and form the internal prophetic structure of the types found in the New Testament. And this is all relating to the everlasting gospel, which is summarized in the book of Hebrews. Um, it's our hope, our strong consolation for a necessary cleansing, our great high priest after the order of Melchizedek. Okay, right, wonderful, right? It's a roadmap from the greatest of the guidebooks, present truth. We have the schematic drawings. We have the original blueprint, everlasting gospel and the sanctuary message. Uh, it was given because it sets out the example and shadow of heavenly things. But how does this deal with the, or have anything to do with the Great Pyramid? We're well, gonna find out. And we'll try not to make this video too long. So the original, remember, the schematic explains why the priests serve. It was the service that was an example and shadow of heavenly things. In relation to the man in linen, our eternal salvation in and through Christ, the two immutable things, which are the offering of necessity and the necessary cleansing. Okay. Um, and that's what we just said here, the necessity, the cross, all right? is necessary, final atonement, administration of cleansing, a dual atonement. This is important. During a time where so many are unaware that there is a dual atonement administration. The two immutable things in the Bible prove this. But we're going to be looking at something else that proves these two immutable things, these two uh, chronologies. Okay. So along with the historical evidence of 554 that we've presented in the thought papers in the videos for Daniel 814 terminating in 1844, right along with the 1290. Okay. There exists another field that remains to be explored in defense of Daniel 814, and that is in the field of archaeology. Okay. Now, um, does evidence actually exist archaeologically that proves Daniel 814? I had no idea. 
right? It was always just, I could prove 1844, Daniel 8, 14 from the Bible, but wouldn't you like to be able to, from a archeological standpoint? And the answer is yes, you can. Um, and so over here, we're gonna get to this. See the dollar bill? All right, this is what we were made familiar with and aware of and no, you don't want anything to do with that, okay? This is not a study of that. This is a study of the genuine. Was the evidence of Daniel 8, 14 actually etched in stone? Uh, so the enemy doesn't want you to know about this. So he created this counterfeit, which is depicted right over here in this picture on the dollar bill. And what you know that, oh, no, I don't want anything to do with that. And of course, no, you don't. But, um, you know, the enemy created this counterfeit, and rightly so, we have been warned against it. But in, with all that taking place, we have missed uh, the true and the genuine that's been there all along. Okay. So the answer may surprise you. And what doesn't change is Daniel 8, 14 in any of this. Okay. The following is simply scripture compared with archaeology. Okay. So the genuine and the counterfeit. So the Bible notes that from Isaiah 19, 19, in that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. So what's this altar and what's this pillar? Interested? Okay. Does the man in linen reveal 31 AD as well as 1844 within the great pyramids chronology? There's a chronology in the great pyramid. Does it show these dates? Is there a connection to Orion? Job 9.9 and 38.31 and Amos 5.5? Look at them up. Have you ever heard of the sacred cubit? Does the Exodus, Bethlehem, the cross, and the biblical number 144,000 come into the view? Does it all point to Christ? Is it worth having a look at? Don't say no. Don't get all scared because of the counterfeit. Is there a diabolical counterfeit of the Great Pyramid, hereafter referred to as the Great Pyramid, masquerading as the Illuminati, which is your another counterfeit, that has obscured the truth surrounding the Great Pyramid? Now, I'm fully aware of the aversion many might have regarding the Great Pyramid due to the fact that the Great Pyramid has been burnt into our memory as something to be repeated, right? Okay. But only in regard to the counterfeit use of the Great Pyramid and not the genuine truth behind the testimony that the Great Pyramid has to tell. Okay. And that's what we're looking at. This is not a study of Illuminati or the all the other occult and demonic symbols and all that out there. Okay. You may be familiar with all that, which is why you may still be thinking, oh, pyramid, all that. I don't know if I want to. Continue watching this video. I don't know if I want to read this thought paper. Okay. Just have a look at the genuine for a change because I did it. It was like, oh, so all this time I was told that, yeah, all this is bad, but I never knew that God actually meant it for our good. Okay. So what we have tested in the field is that upon first mention of the Great Pyramid, you can almost figuratively see and hear the shutters closing and walk up. And, and we tested this, right? Um, some family members. Um, we'd like to tell you the truth about the Great Pyramid. First thing that went to their mind was the dollar bill, the Illuminati, pyramidology, and no, didn't want to hear a single thing. So what you're getting to hear if you continue watching this video is you'll get to hear something that 
they never got to hear. To date, unless at some point they want to know, which was sad. No willingness to hear. Okay. They only knew about the counterfeit. The, the counterfeit's obscureness has had its effect. So the enemy has kept them from knowing the truth of the Great Pyramid. Now, so yeah, the claimer, I don't pretend to be. I'm not expert on the Great Pyramid. Uh-uh. I'm only going to share what's been shared with me. And I didn't write it. Okay. I don't have some of this, you know, great education in mind where I, you know, this is all copyrighted, copyrighted by me. Irrelevant. Uh, it's made of, available. It's out there from the works that others have done. Findings have been shared with me. You know, okay. And remember, it has to agree with the Bible. So here we come to the Bible. Um, so here I was just explaining in my school years. Yep, I covered the basics on it in school, moving on to other subjects. Uh, you know, I, I was used to about the certain secret societies, the Illuminati, and I knew it was on the US dollar. Um, so here's a picture of it, the all seeing eye on the capstone right there. There's the pyramid, capstone, the all seeing eye, there's the Illuminati. I knew where they were located. Some basic historical details, but when you get into this stuff regarding the genuine, it's it's uh, oh wow, you know, culminating with the understanding of the all seeing eye, the Illuminati, all right there. Uh, and so, um, I didn't want anything to do with any of that, right? And then I came aware of the uh, the real evidence, okay, and that's just briefly. Because we'll have to go over this more because I've got a file folder uh, digitally full of some, some charts, some graphs, some pictures, and some information out there, which, you know, you pick through and, well, what are you saying here? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. No, no, don't agree with that. And, you know, um, it's all about um, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay. And looking at this in this this data, um, so when become uh, first aware of this research, I was reminded of the fact for which I could not deny, which is simply the enemy Satan always has a counterfeit. Okay, here's your counterfeit. We're going to look at the true, which is what this coming picture up here is about. But we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, because he changed the truth of God, remember, into a lie, you know, because he's a liar and the father of it. Um, and if it is possible for a counterfeit to exist in the form of all the dangerous and evil symbolisms and doctrines of devils by the occult, hijacking the Great Pyramid for wicked purposes, obviously based on the principles of Romans 125, there would exist truth regarding the Great Pyramid. What there then is the actual genuine truth that we have been so tactfully distracted from knowing well here we go would you be surprised to find out that the counterfeit only really focuses on satan and the genuine totally focuses on jesus christ wouldn't you want to know the truth about it our great high priest that points to the two immutable things it's etched in stone okay so the great controversy a cosmic controversy between christ and satan has its counterfeit illumination and that's the bad all right the really bad stuff but the genuine illumination, the man in linen endorsed information. That's what you want to see. Because Hebrews 10.32, but call to remembrance the former days in which after you were illuminated. So there's your true illumination. Ye endured a great fight of afflictions. Two illuminations that are diametrically opposite. So a genuine must exist in opposition to that counterfeit, right? And here I just tell a little bit of a story because um, I remember the founding editor, he asked his listeners whether they believed in the Illuminati. No one raised their hands. And then they were really surprised when he raised his. And then he explained 
Hebrews 10, 32, okay. So there was a counterfeit and a genuine, and I subscribed to the genuine illumination, not the counterfeit Illuminati. Paul called it the doctrines of devils to be avoided and exposed, the counterfeit. But Paul confirms the genuine illuminated people who in former days were illuminated with the everlasting gospel truth, and they endured a great fight of afflictions ancient times to this day to his day so all we like paul consider this principle as well so i subscribe to the genuine the everlasting gospel all right as great christ is my great high priest through the spirit of truth and that's why regarding the great pyramid i subscribe to the genuine mystery and symbolism etched in stone supporting the man in linen that proves daniel eight fourteen that we're going to get to and this would be just so brief um, because there's no point at this time um, bombarding you with too much detail. Because if, however, one wants to falsely accuse such Bible students that have a look at this as going off into the counterfeit doctrines of devils surrounding pyramidology, well, you know, misrepresentations, it's always possible, but keep your eyes focused on the genuine, that there is a genuine and have have an honest look at the data, right? Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. See, this was just um, trying to explain that there is a genuine, there is a counterfeit. That's what we want to, genuine is what, what we want to have a look at. Uh, okay. Because we've been drenched with the counterfeit. Okay, but I'm not going to reject the genuine just because of the counterfeit or the fake news it's etched in stone preserved um it's one of the remaining great wonders of the world so years ago i first heard of the great pyramids archaeological evidence supporting daniel 8 14 and of course i wanted to know anything that proves daniel 8 14 um okay because it has to go to the law and to the testimony and um believe not every spirit try the spirits many false prophets going on to the world that's all absolutely true here we go um because if any man will do his will he shall know of the doctrine whether it be of god or whether i speak of myself same thing with this if it proves daniel 8 14 he shall know of the doctrine okay so what's actually etched in stone that accords with daniel 8 14 and then ask yourself does this agree with the man in linen's high priest administration after the order of melchizedek the bibles especially the book of Hebrews, summation of the everlasting gospel, the dual atonement message. Okay. So here's a redrawing of the internal schematic of the Great Pyramid. So what do you have here? The pyramid's amazing chronography. One inch equals one year. So look how, um, so here's the, um, King's chamber, you have the grand state, great staircase, there's the great step, there's these other chambers, and we'll get more into that if you're not familiar. But what this actually brings out is the Exodus, okay? Notice here 31 AD, are you interested? Look here, the measurements between here and here, right here, look at here, 1,844 inches. And one inch equals a year. Are you interested? So there's a lot here. We're going to go into more detail. This is, you know, just an overview. A side view of the Great Pyramid, Pyramid of Giza, its passageways. The numbers recorded are internal measurements to the Grand Gallery and equal important dates of Bible history. Why are they recorded or even prophesied? the great pyramid a pillar an altar the border in the land of egypt now you know why the enemy needed to counterfeit it right now right and cause us to avoid any any interest in this okay so i'll give you an example of the bible being tested in the field so it was shared in that day, 
shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt and a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness. This is from Isaiah 1919. Okay, try and think of any other altar or pillar at the border in the land of Egypt. And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. What else could there be, right? For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, and he shall send them a savior and a great one. And what, what this evidence further, further um, brings out is, is Bethlehem, okay? So it actually is a sign and a witness of a coming savior, a great one, and he shall deliver them. Are you still interested? Um, so I know of an individual that saw the importance of the genuine truth of the Great Pyramid and tried to share this evidence with a family member. What I was talking about earlier, startling experience that resulted in immediate disappointment. The individual was so excited. I want to show you this. And the immediate thing that came to their mind was the dollar bill, the pyramid, you know, the Illuminati. And they didn't even want to hear it anymore because of the knowledge of the counterfeit and its besieging influence of the Great Pyramid, the family member was so scared, nothing permitted any chance to hear what the genuine had to say. And so this is where we ended. We said to be continued. We haven't published anything more about this. Um, but look, look at this. 1844, 31 AD, the cross. Okay. Um, the sacred cubit. Um, you know, and I could pull up, I could pull up some more things, but um, hopefully, this has um, created an interest for you. So, come back, keep watching for future videos hopefully not too, too long from now, that we'll start, you know, just a little bit by little bit, looking at more of the evidence. And you can actually sit back and, wow, you know, I knew about all the bad stuff about the Great Pyramid, but have a look at this. Um, yeah, this, the bad actually kept me um, from, understanding any of the genuine so yeah hopefully this helps and um so stay tuned god bless